Previously on SNES Drunk Plays Star Fox. Oh, damn it. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck ever. Oh, God. This is the worst Let's Play ever, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, hey there. This is uh, SNES Drunk Plays Star Fox. Um, if you recall, in the last couple episodes, I was having some trouble with the L and R buttons on the controller. I wanted to track down another controller. I couldn't find one. So I decided to restart the Retron 5 to see if maybe that was the problem, and it's not. But I since did find another controller, I started over, and I'm back to Macbeth. So that's why uh, I'll have like power-ups again and stuff like that. I know, it's kind of cheap. And uh, if you hate me for that, well, I hate myself for it too, so there you go. You're not alone. Let's go. Let's go. Anyway, let's edit our way back to this part. I just wanted to show off the um, the continue screen since it's kind of goofy. You get to like mess around with the ship and all that sort of stuff. I want to show off as much as I can of this game. So anyway, yeah, we got a new controller. It's a new uh, ASCII pad. It's got the turbo stuff on it. So let's get going on Macbeth, my least favorite level, reluctantly. Let's see if we can fucking get past this shit. If I remember correctly, the last time um, uh, I had wing damage on the last boss that screwed me over, um, cost me my weapon. So now we're going into Macbeth with uh, the upgraded weapon. Five bombs. Yeah, is, you think it's cheap? Yeah, I think it's cheap too. You know what? I don't really care. The whole point of this is to show off the game. <laughs> so... Anyway, it's important to have the L and R buttons. Oh, jeez. Nice, nice demonstration there, dude. Um, it's important to have the L and R buttons functional in, in a level like this because you got plasma balls coming at you left and right. And the way you dodge those... Whoops. The way you dodge those in this game is with uh, Slippy getting in trouble. Whoa, shit. I didn't even see that. Um, no, it's... it's you, you, you uh, repel them by uh, rolling, just like in uh, Star Fox 64, how you repel uh, laser fire. And plus it helps to dodge like that too, which I was having a little bit of trouble with that last the last few episodes too. Slippy, get the fuck out of my way! God! Ugh. This ring up here... Uh, there we go, full power. And if you remember correctly, there is also a power-up back here if you need it. Just, you gotta remember to blow this guy up. Slam on the brakes. And there you go. And slam into that thing. <laughs> there. I don't recommend doing that, though. Alright. Get this guy over here. And am I gonna get the shield? Should I? Nah, let's just go around. Not worth it. It's pretty much a trap anyway. Yeah, the, what, what really gives me trouble at the end of this level is when you've got like six or seven of those uh, those little like tower things that shoot the plasma balls, and they and it's just endless. Like you gotta, you have to be able to roll at that point, unless you get really lucky. Missile things that buzz annoyingly. Look out. Yeah, you got him on the ceiling, you got him over here, you got him over there. Oh, didn't roll. I'm still having trouble. It just doesn't want to respond. Fucking A. Hopefully I'll be able to show it off. Okay. I mean, that's one way to dodge them, just by, by uh, you know, rolling out of the way, but that's not really what I meant. Basically, if you get hit as you're rolling, it'll, like, deflect, basically. It'll make, like, kind of like a, like the same sound that uh, the shield makes when you get hit when you have a shield. Anyway, we're back at this boss. Let's kick this guy's ass. I'm sick of, I'm sick of facing this guy. 
I got more than half my half my life, so put the brakes on, back the fuck away, and uh, Jesus. Oh God, are those supposed to be bubbles or like iron balls or something like that? All right, don't zoom in this time. Stay steady, stay steady. Back off. Oh, that's right. Those go away after a while. And we finally got them. Right on. And I mistimed my zoom into the explosion there. See, yeah, I still have to hit, hit the button like five times to get to, to get it to roll. I don't know what that is. If it's the controller, if it's the just how it is with the Retron 5 response control. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, we're finally past stupid Macbeth. Let's go. 87. I don't care. I'll take it. It's about in line with the rest of my percentages so far. Shit. Next, we've got Venom. Again, it is a planet surface level, just like the other two paths. What do we got here? You've made it this far. It's your fate to destroy Andros. We're counting on you, Fox. <laughs> Did you just say we're all counting on you? So yeah, here we go. We've got this um What what's the feature of this level? It'll Oh yeah, we got these things are back. And we also have the yeah, these little like they look like, I don't know why, but they remind me of, like, like, sprinklers. Like, sprinkler heads that come up, and if you don't shoot them in time, they will, sh they will spray off, like, a, like, five or six. Um, not quite the same plasma balls that we saw from the last, uh, the last episode, but, um, kind of, kind of that beam, kind of that, that slanted, those slanted beam balls. I'm saying the word balls a lot. Look out. I did not mean to save Slippy. I didn't even know he was in trouble. I wasn't even noticing it. Just get the fuck out of the way, dude. I think I just let him die, crash at the surface. Anyway, yeah, these Venom levels, t like skimming the planet surface from up above, tend to be kind of Nah, here, let's uh, blow these up and get this bomb here. Oh, what? I didn't get all of them? And we got a shield, and we got that if you need it. That's pretty cool. Should I just let him die? Yeah. I don't know if it's a paternal instinct or what, but... Oh, he's at least down to halfway. Good, it's his own fucking fault. He can't... He can't hang. He can't handle his shit. He's like Slippy's like the guy you go you you want to go hang out with at the bar f on a Friday night, and he fucking like like he's two beers in and he's like, oh god, I'm so wasted. I have to go home. And it's like, but it's eight o'clock. You've had two beers. You know what I mean? That's Slippy. I can't believe Star Fox team could not find somebody better than Slippy. I mean, that's a failing on what is it is whose responsibility is it to put together the team? Is it is it Sergeant Pepper? What is he too busy listening to Beatles albums to fucking put together a decent team? I mean, the, at least the other guys are halfway decent. And Falco's kind of a dick, but and Peppy's Peppy's kind of uh Annoying in his own way. Okay, we're at the boss, and now something very peculiar happens here. Notice I have a shield right now. And here comes the boss. He's in three parts right now. And he'll, yeah, try and throw this... Throw, throw stuff at you. Col more collision-type damage. But yeah, notice I have a shield right now. Not for long. Oh, shit. Did the laser make it go away that time? Because most of the time when I play this game, the it takes the freaking shield off automatically. And I, I don't know why that is. A, a, a part of the reason might be because of this... Uh, 
the perspective here is kind of wonky. If the game makes you turn around to, uh, like, watch, you, you'll do the overpass, and then the game swings you back around like that. And yeah, you, you come in from the side from the side and it's these tiny little targets shit. Tiny little targets that you have to wait for them to open up and you hit them with a uh I, or at least I hit them with bombs. Because it's the easier it's just easier to do it that way. So save your bombs for the boss. Don't use them for any other purpose. Shit. No, Mr. Oh, I got a few there. That was good. Cool. So he's more than halfway down with three bombs to go yeah this sometimes this boss can take a long fucking time yeah oh, I didn't get shit done with that bomb damn it and you really it's really tricky to try and fly in low to hit those things because you'll run into the ship itself like this I'm not even oh, got one of them it helps to put on the brakes. Alright, one more pass. Let's see if I can do this. Where are the openings? It looks like they are on... Shit. Oh, there we go! Jackpot! There's one on the right... On the, the right side there, and I got him. You think... It's just like the other two levels. You think he crashes to the surface. Not quite. You gotta face him again. Remember not to shoot me. Well, you f fucking earned it, you dumb frog. Anyway, uh, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Star Fox. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Have a 100% day.